Hey guys, Shane Starnes with Droid Modder X, and today I'm going to show you guys how to flash a ROM on the Verizon Galaxy S5 using SafeStrap. Now, there are several ROMs that are available. A lot of them are for the NI2, so with that being said, if you're not on the latest build of Android uh, or the latest over-the-air update, you will need to flash the NI2 firmware once you have flashed your ROM. So I'm going to get into how to do that towards the end of the video. Once we flash our ROM, we'll go ahead and flash the firmware. It's really easy. All you have to do is flash it in Odin and you're done. No big deal. Uh, so basically, what I'm going to flash today is just the stock rooted uh, Deodex Nox Free ROM from Beanstown 106. And there's also other ROMs like the Alliance ROM and several other great ROMs that you can choose from. This will just be a general guide of how to use SafeStrap to flash your ROM. So without further ado, we'll go ahead and download our ROM. So you'll head down, so you'll head down to the download link, go ahead and click it, download that ROM. Once you have it downloaded, you'll need to install SafeStrap. I'll be sure to include a link in the description of where you can download SafeStrap. Once you have it downloaded, you'll open up the application. You'll hit install recovery. Once recovery is installed, you'll reboot to recovery. So this functions the same as Team Win Recovery Project. Basically, SafeStrap allows you to circumvent the boot loader uh, so that you're able to flash systems uh, to your device. So it actually does it on a separate partition. You will need an SD card in order for this to work because it's actually installing the ROM onto your SD card. Okay, so once SafeStrap has booted, you'll see that we have boot options. In earlier versions of SafeStrap on other devices, you had the ability to have a custom ROM slot. So you had your stock ROM slot where your stock ROM would reside and then you could flash any custom ROM you wanted to and you could actually flash between four of those. The ROM threads that I've been reading say that it's best to go ahead and flash these to the stock ROM slot. And especially on this one, we are supposed to flash this to the stock ROM slot. So we'll go ahead and stick with that. That's currently active. So we'll go back here. Uh, the very next thing you want to do is go ahead and make a Nandroid backup. So we'll go ahead and click the backup button and swipe to backup. Give it just a few minutes to make the full backup. This way if you flash a ROM and you're not happy with it, you can always recover uh, your previous ROM and you'll lose none of your information. Okay, so after about 10 or 15 minutes, you will see this screen here. You'll click the back button. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is go to install and go to your download folder which is where the ROM should have appeared and you'll see the ROM there but before we install it we're going to wipe data so we're going to wipe this is going to wipe data cache and download cache so we're basically factory resetting the device we'll go ahead and do that real quick okay when that's finished we'll go back back again we'll install that ROM swipe to flash give this a few minutes to flash and then we will uh, boot into download mode and flash that NI2 zip in Odin. So if you decide to install this particular ROM, this will allow you to get to NI2 rooted from any build. So you can be flashing from NCG or NE9 or whatever build you happen to be on. This will get you all the way to NI2 and you will be rooted. And the only premise is that you do flash that NI2 firmware. And if you're already on NI2, there's no need to flash the firmware. You should be good to go once you've installed the ROM. Uh, but if you're on a different build like NE9 or NCG, then you want to make sure that you flash that NI2 firmware. Okay, so when it's finished, you will see this screen. We're not going to reboot system. We're going to go back, back again. Uh, from here, we're going to hit reboot, and we're going to boot into download mode. Okay, so when you see this screen here, we'll go ahead and plug in our USB device. Okay, so I'll be sure to include a link to the firmware and also Odin in the description below. So you'll go ahead and launch Odin. Okay, and you'll need to make sure that uh, the computer does see your device here. So we want to make sure that we are plugged in. Okay, so once your device shows up here, you'll go to PDA. And you'll find the NI2 firmware only. Go ahead and open that. When it populates here, we'll go ahead and select Start. Okay, you'll see on your device, you'll see the progress bar. So you know that it's doing its thing and flashing the firmware. Okay, and then it will go ahead and it's going to go ahead and reboot your device into the new ROM. We'll just continue on through. Okay, so once it boots up, we'll head into settings and about phone. 
You guys can see that we're now running Android 4.4.4. We're on build NI2. And you guys can see the build number here as well. So anyways, guys, that about wraps it up. The only one other thing that I might want to show you guys is that we are indeed rooted. So you guys can see the Super SU there. So guys, that about wraps it up for the install guide for SafeStrap. And also this kind of doubles as a video guide on how to get to the latest version of Android for the Verizon Galaxy S5 Ni2 with Root. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com. Follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. Thanks, guys, for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.